Today is May the 6th. Will we be persecuted? Let's find out together as we study Mark chapter 13, verses 9 to 13. We start with a question today, will we be persecuted? There are many, there, there are three major different uh, uh, studies, uh, different answers to that question. Uh, it relates to the rapture. Will the church be raptured before persecution takes place? Or will it take place after? Many of you may have read the books by Tim LaHaye's uh, The Left Behind series that takes a pre-tribulation approach to the rapture. The rapture occurs first and then the tribulation occurs. Others believe that it takes place after and still a third group says that it takes place halfway through. So you have the pre-trib, mid-trib, and post-trib approach to persecution. The reason why we have confusion is because in the book of Revelation, which is the book where we have most teaching about the end times, the rapture is not mentioned. So there's a lot of persecution in Revelation, but we don't know when the rapture takes place. Jesus here in this passage seems to give us at least part of an answer. We'll begin to read in verse 9. When these things begin to happen, watch out. You'll be handed over to the local councils and beaten in the synagogues. You'll stand trial before governors and kings because you are my followers. But this will be your opportunity to tell them about me. For the good news must first be preached to all nations. But when you're arrested and stand trial, don't worry in advance about what to say. Just say what God tells you at that time. For it's not you who will be speaking, but the Holy Spirit. A brother will betray his brother to death. A father will betray his own child. Children will rebel against their parents and cause them to be killed. And everyone will hate you because you are my followers. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. Now Jesus seems to indicate that we will undergo some level of persecution. Those who believe that the rapture takes place first would be quick to say, but this persecution already took place this refers to the apostles, and certainly it does refer to the apostles, and the apostles at some level fulfilled it. But it seems that Jesus is saying there will be persecution coming in the end times. Jesus says six things will happen to those who follow me. He says, first of all, people will hate you because you follow me. Acting then on that hatred, you'll be betrayed. And you'll be betrayed by those who are closest to you, even by your own family members. Thirdly, he says, you will be handed over to the authorities. You will be arrested by those who can arrest you and you will stand trial, then finally, you'll be beaten as a result of being found guilty. Um, it appears that Jesus, again, is relating this back to a passage of Scripture. That Scripture we find in the book of Micah, Micah chapter 7. Micah is a prophet that prophesied when Israel 
and Judah still existed, an 8th century prophet. In Micah chapter 7, verses 2 and 3, Micah says, The godly people have all disappeared. Not one honest person is left on the earth. They're all murderers setting traps, even for their own brothers. Both their hands are equally skilled at doing evil. Officials and judges alike demand bribes. People with influence get what they want, and together they scheme to twist justice. Just a few verses later, Micah warns the people of Israel in verse 5, Don't trust anyone, not your best friend or even your wife. For the son despises his father, the daughter defies her mother, the daughter-in-law defies her mother-in-law. Your enemies are right in your own household. It appears that we will be persecuted at least at some level. There will be betrayals, there will be handing over, even arrests. So what does Jesus tell us to do? He says, first of all, in book of Mark, chapter 13, in verse 9, watch out. <laughs> Be alert, in other words. Keep your wits about you. He says, secondly, at the end of verse 9, this will be your opportunity to speak about me. Every opportunity that we have, we're to speak of Jesus. In verse 11, he says, don't worry in advance. Um, much of what happens, I, I, the, the impression that I get is, it'll happen quickly, it'll, it'll roll quickly. Jesus says, don't worry in advance about what to say. I'll let you know in the time. And then the very last thing that he says in this section, verse 13, the one who endures to the end will be saved. The last thing Jesus says is, stick it out. Stick with it. Don't turn away. Endure to the end. I encourage you to like, follow, and subscribe on whatever platform you use to listen to this devotional. Send your questions to us at questions at becomehope.com. Tomorrow, we'll answer the question, where do we go when all of this begins to happen? <laughs>